We are Amble Studio, and we're here to tell you about our super fun team building role playing game, Green Hollow. I'm Logan. I'm Curie. And I'm Haley. So, Logan, can serious games be seriously fun? I love that idea. <laughs> Weaponized goats. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Weaponized pride goats. We're from Anvil Studio and we make games for creating and growing together. We believe that humanity is going to need more personal development, more working together as we face the challenges that are coming our way in the future. And our games that we develop, like Green Hollow, try to hit that sweet spot where the individual can develop as an individual in the context of working together as a team. As folks who are facilitators and specialists in collaboration with really strong passion for collaboration in our working lives and passionate role players in our personal lives, we noticed that when we play role playing games, we are naturally building our capacity to collaborate with others in a way that's very natural and very playful. With Green Hollow, we've really worked to take the things that we love about role playing games and strip back the rules, the dice, the complicated parts of it to make it really accessible to workplaces so that workplaces can access that magic of role playing games without having to feel overwhelmed. So how does it work? Green Hollow is literally just a deck of cards. Each player takes a turn drawing a card off the top, reading it aloud and responding to what the card asks them to do. The first third or so of the deck is instructions and setting the scene. And then the remaining cards are question prompts that players respond to to build the story together. And that format of having cards with prompts that ask questions that players can respond to is a really quick way to get players immersed in a particular setting and responding from the point of view of this fictional character. But what I loved about playing Green Hollow was firstly, I'm not much of a games person and I don't normally have the patience to sit down and play with other people in that way. And there was something about the way the game was constructed, which made entering into that particular format uh, really enjoyable and really accessible. I really enjoyed uh, the upfront explanation of how you choose your character and how you answer as your character. And mostly I really liked how you guided us through it. Green Hollow is a really great game for teams at any point in their journey of being a team because no matter where you're at, there's always more to learn about each other and about the ways that you connect and work together. Even though you're playing a made up fantastical character in this made up place, you're always still in some ways drawing on parts of yourself. Uh, and so it means as you're going along and you're making up this story together, there's always parts of you in that character and in that story. So it provides a whole new lens that you can look at yourself with and come out the other end with potentially some pretty interesting learnings. You're calling people into this imaginative um, place, Green Hollow, really kind of provides a wonderful basis to have discussions around how we want to work together and, and bring to the surface um, what might be important to different people because at times people may answer in their character and at times as themselves and there's something in there that might not otherwise come up in just your usual kickoff meetings and, and project team meetings. So I'm going to pull the last card. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. How has this project changed Green Hollow? How has this project changed me? To find Green Hollow or learn more about Amble Studio, you can visit our website, amble.studio. You'll find links there to all of our other games, more about us, our Twitter and LinkedIn, and our podcast to learn more about the intersections between the worlds of collaboration and facilitation and games and game design. Thanks for watching our talk today. We are so honored to be part of the first ever Games for Change Asia Pacific.